the top 10 weirdest things ever sold in Japan. Number 10. Live Lobsters Japan is such a seafood-rich country that you can find fresh seafood wherever you go, even in vending machines. There's even a crane-style claw machine game that allows people to pick up and purchase a fresh live lobster so they can go home with both a delicious dinner and the story about how they picked a winner. Although, if you've ever tried one of those claw games to get a toy, good luck getting a lobster, all right? I can't even get a soft... I can't get a teddy in that thing. A lobster? Are you kidding me? Not gonna happen. Number nine, Konica Minolta Kunkun. If you're worried that you might smell from sweat, being old, or sweat around the, the fat in your middle, if you're just terrified of the fact that you're sweaty and you smell, don't worry about it, right? Konica Minolta Kunkun Body Odor Checker is here to ease your mind, or, you know, make you completely paranoid. It doesn't directly provide any solutions, but you can always just go and douse yourself in the scent of sumo wrestlers and then go about your day worry-free. Number 8. Taco Tomago. Have you ever seen anything quite like this? One of the most strange, possibly delicious things you could buy. It's a small octopus served on a stick with a cooked egg inside of its head. The perfect snack. We have scotch eggs over here. It's an egg wrapped in pork meat and breadcrumbs, which arguably is pretty strange. But I think putting an egg inside the head of a squid, octopus, and putting on a stick really does take the biscuit. Number seven, weird mystery boxes. In order to sell both an experience and a snack, there are mystery box vending machines all over Japan that sell something wrapped up in kanji covered wrapping designed to intrigue and tempt the passers-by. The packaging tells a little story which can be read from outside the machine, and after the buyer has parted with their hard-earned yen, they're rewarded with a wrapped package of some sort of snack food, making them wonder whether the mystery box was worth the price. Only way to find out is to put it in your mouth. Delicious. Number six, flying fish soup. Drinking some black bean soup out of a can is one thing, but could you imagine drinking a warm can full of fish soup complete with a whole fish straight out of a can? Personally, I, I kind of can and I don't like it. Well, the flying fish soup sold out of Japanese vending machines isn't supposed to be consumed on the go. It's to be taken home and added to the meal you're preparing so that cooks can save a bit of time in preparing their meal and add some of that legendary flying fish flavor to their meal for cheap. Of course, it's very easy. Just put a whole fish. It's so much easier than going and catching a whole flipping fish. Number five. Horned beetles. Kabuto mushi, horned beetles, are considered both good luck and a fun plaything in Japan, and live beetles are sold out of vending machines so that kids can play with them and bug collectors can add them to their collection, like Pokemon. I mean, I suppose it seems wrong to sell bugs in a machine, but at the same time, we can buy ham sandwiches out of a machine as well, and really, what's the difference? Number four, the cat's meow. Hello Kitty doesn't speak, but she can help cover up the noise of your own emissions. In the bathroom, that is. This adorable gadget plays 27 seconds of the sound of running water to cover up any embarrassment you might have whilst doing your, you know, running other stuff, business. Number three, a girl's phone number. If you have the confidence and charisma to speak to women, then you can get their phone number the traditional and correct and arguably, you know, moral way. But if you lack self-confidence, then you can just buy a random girl's number out of a vending machine. What? Right? Yeah, really, you can buy a girl's phone number. It sounds odd, but it apparently does happen in Japan. Phone chat is a big business in Japan, and the phone numbers sold in vending machines really do work. Number two, Noiseless Karaoke Mute Mic 2. Do you love karaoke, but you don't really want anyone else to have to hear you or listen to you or just endure this pain and terror? Well, with the Noiseless Karaoke Mute Mic 2, you will be the only person that's subjected to your rendition of Natural Woman. Fantastic. Number one, Fancy Toilets. Spending some time in bathrooms, 
whether you want to or not, it's a fact of life, so why not make it super comfortable? It's not uncommon to find one that makes noise to block out any uncomfortable sounds, ones that give off perfume, raise their seats automatically, or even have a built-in bidet. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching another top media video. Don't forget to hit that very important bell icon, the subscribe button, and to support us on Patreon. As they say, pennies make pounds, and your support would go a very long way for our channel.